The Hierarchical Behaviour of Giraffes The giraffe is the tallest of all land mammals. Male giraffes are called bulls and female giraffes are called cows. Bulls are taller than cows, reaching up to 5.5 metres tall and have the longest necks in the world, reaching up to around 1.8 to 2.4 metres long. This helps the male giraffe when establishing hierarchy, which is the system of ranking or status. Although many people think of the giraffe as one species, there are actually nine different subspecies of giraffe. All are quite similar, however, and are only distinguishable by the spot patterns on their coats. Giraffes are found in Africa, but are more commonly found in South and Eastern Africa. Living in savannas and woodlands, there are warm temperatures year-round, and scattered shrubs, achia, and isolated trees are mainly to eat. Giraffes live in loose herds of both males and females. In the herd, individuals have their own status in the hierarchy, which minimizes aggression. The top-ranked dominant male in the hierarchy can usually be found with its head held high. Male dominance is determined by necking. Necking is like an intersexual form of combat. Necking helps to determine male dominance because the well-armoured skull is used as a club to strike the neck, ribs, chest or legs of the opponent with a force capable of knocking the competitor over or even unconscious. As energy delivered by the hit increases in proportion to the mass of the head and the length of its neck, it is expected that selection will favour the longer and stronger necks as the species evolves. This is because the dominant male, the winner of the necking fight, gains the rights to mating with the fertile females in the herd. Because the dominant male is supposedly the strongest in the neck, it is likely these favourable genes are passed on to the offspring and so the species can evolve further and more successfully. Hierarchical behaviour of necking is important to the giraffe as a species because it adds evolutionary advantages. Giraffes have one of the lowest required sleep to survive, being able to gain maximum energy after only two to four hours of sleep. Because the giraffe is such a large mammal, most of its day and most of its energy is spent searching for food. Only the dominant male mates with the fertile female in the herd, and so necking reduces frequent aggression. If two males were constantly fighting over mating rights and both died, then this would result in a loss of genes from the gene pool and the giraffe would lose two strong males needed for group management, protection and breeding. Necking saves energy in the herd because when the female is fertile, the dominant male is always the one to mate with it and so no time is spent searching for a mate. Overall, stress in the herd is reduced and this means the herd can evolve faster and more successfully.